Your WNEM-TV5 News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. New details. Flint's police chief says a 17-year-old boy was arrested Tuesday evening in connection to the shooting on Christmas Eve that left two boys dead. It happened at an abandoned home on East Hamilton Road. Police say they are looking for two other suspects. Stay with TV5 for updates. Well, the Michigan Supreme Court has rejected an attempt to remove former President Donald Trump from the 2024 ballot. The rejected argument was based on the U.S. Constitution's 14th Amendment ban on insurrectionists. The ruling is at odds with the recent ruling from the Colorado Supreme Court, which took Trump off its primary ballot due to his role in the January 6th Capitol riot. However, the Michigan Court of Appeals upheld a ruling that said state law does not give election officials any leeway to police the eligibility of presidential primary candidates. Well, an audit finding the Michigan Unemployment Insurance Agency paid hundreds of millions of dollars to people who were ineligible. Well, according to the findings from the Office of the Michigan Auditor General, between January 2020 and October 2020, the state paid $245 million to people potentially ineligible, including those who are dead or in prison. It also found the UIA undercalculated penalties on these claims by at least 49% because of internal data issues. After reviewing a series of 30 cases, the auditor found the agency did not try to identify 70% of fraudsters. The agency says leaders are aware of the issues and promise to correct them. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Colette. As we go through the rest of today, we are still expecting some showery and damp weather here in mid-Michigan, especially west of I-75. That's where the majority of the rain development for the afternoon has already been taking place. And that's where most of it will be for the rest of today. Still just a few lingering areas of some drizzle or light rain, even into the eastern thumb as well. But notice here in the first alert hour by hour, eventually once we head into the evening and the overnight, we'll start to see this uh, breaking up for us just a little bit. So a little bit of that pause in the rainfall for tonight, but there will still be some fog rolling through and as we go into your Thursday. Another round of scattered showers develop. Those will be moving from east to west across our area and then on Friday, potentially a few lingering showers too as a weak boundary moves in from the north. Once we get behind that, then we'll be able to dry out into Friday night and Saturday. This is all still under that influence from that storm system that's leaving the Great Plains at the moment. Now our rain totals for today and tomorrow by Thursday evening. We still are expecting some of the areas in the central Michigan and northern locations too that could still potentially pick up over half of an inch of rainfall. Otherwise, Owasso, Flint and Lapeer still sitting at the lower end for those rainfall totals. Again, that fog that rolls in for tonight. The thumb even right around the Great Lakes Bay region and into Flint. Some of the same areas where we saw that fog earlier today. So definitely going to be another foggy start on Thursday. Temperatures also staying steady for the rest of today in the lower to middle 40s. We only fall down to 40 for the low tonight, then 42 for your high on Thursday. So temperatures barely moving at all from tonight into tomorrow. Eventually behind that boundary on Friday, we'll start to cool down through the weekend. We're still on track for highs in the 30s with lows in the 20s through the weekend and especially as we kick off the new year. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.